This video is sponsored by absolutely nothing. I currently have no active sponsors, so please subscribe. Hey, what's up everyone? Today I will show you how to properly dye artificial leaves. This comes in handy when crafting a ghillie suit. These leaves are only small pieces to the puzzle, but very important. Let's get started with what you need. So grab some newspaper, a big pot, strainer, tongs, small container or bowl, some gloves if you want them, RIT synthetic dye, and of course your artificial leaves. Oh, and I almost forgot you need some liquid dish soap and a measuring device. But here is a list for you to screenshot. Help yourself to some links in the description. Let's talk about the dye. I'm using RIT synthetic dye. It seems to work best for this type of project. Go on the website for more info on dyes and fabric material. Anyway, one of these bottles can be used for up to 2 pounds of fabric. This pile of like 75 to 100 leaves doesn't even weigh anywhere close to 1 pound, so you can use one bottle for hundreds of leaves. Make sure you shake the dye very, very well. Anyway, let's get started. Lay down some newspaper in your work area if you wish. You should first wash the items you want to dye. Is it absolutely necessary? Maybe not, but we want the best results. So fill up your big pot with water and add a dash of dish soap. Put the pot on the stove and get the concoction boiling. While you wait, be sure to shake your dye. Keep an eye on the soapy water. Be very careful when it starts to boil. The soap bubbles will expand and it can overflow. I just lift up the pot and adjust the burner temperature until the soap settles and the water is a steady boil. Now add your leaves. Make sure they are submerged and you can stir them occasionally. Set a timer for like 10 to 15 minutes and keep an eye on your cauldron so it doesn't overflow. You could also use a laundry bag and wash your leaves in the washer, but this way is easier and faster. Once your timer goes off, empty the pot of leaves into a strainer and rinse them. Fill the pot back up again and add one teaspoon of liquid dish soap. Put the pot on the stove and get the soapy water boiling just like before. Once it starts to boil, you can add your dye. Make sure you shook it extremely well, it's very important. I also cannot stress enough to be careful when the water starts to boil, especially now that you're adding the dye. If you don't pay attention, the soapy water can overflow and make a huge fucking mess. Anyway, just dump the entire bottle in and stir it up. Once you have a steady boil going, put in all of the leaves that you want to dye. The yellow and green leaves from the assortment work best. Submerge them and stir them. Set a timer for like 20 minutes. During this 20 minutes, keep a steady boil and stir your leaves occasionally. Once the timer goes off, use your tongs and remove a portion of the leaves, maybe like one third of them. Take these to the sink, strain and rinse. It's best to start rinsing with hot water than slowly add cold. I don't really think it matters, just rinse them and strain them until the water runs clear. Now lay them out somewhere where they can dry overnight. Be sure to try and keep them flat. That's it really, just repeat this process two more times. I like to do a batch of leaves for about an hour, removing some every 20 minutes. Do it however you want, but this way you'll have a nicer variety of one color. Keep in mind that fabric always looks darker when it's wet. After the leaves dry, they will lighten up. I took the time to do green and brown leaves. It takes some time, but if you have the patience and follow all the instructions, the results are worth it. That brings this video to an end. I hope it was helpful, and as always, thanks for watching. We say we love, we say we love.